Hi, I'm Dr. Wendy Bohan, and I'm an earthquake geologist. I'm doing this series on the New Madrid Seismic Zone, and this is part three. So in part one, we talked about the earthquakes that happened in 1811 and 1812, and then we talked about evidence for those earthquakes. Now we're gonna talk about why we have earthquakes in this region to begin with. So most earthquakes happen along the edge of the tectonic plates, and in North America, the part that's closest to the continent, that tectonic plate boundary is along the west coast of the US. That's why we have so many earthquakes in California, Oregon, and Washington. Well, New Madrid is in the middle of the country. So what's going on there? These are called intraplate earthquakes, which means earthquakes in the middle of a plate. And in order to understand why we have so many big earthquakes right here, we need to go back in time. So you may have heard of things like Pangaea, Gondwana, Laurasia. These are times when uh, the continents were cuddling when all of the land masses were together. So through time, the tectonic plates move all around, right? They come together, they break apart. To break apart, what happens is you have a heat source from below. This causes the ground to dome up and crack. And when it cracks, it looks almost like a Mercedes Benz symbol. You have three arms of this situation, which we call a triple junction. Two of those arms are gonna open up and form new ocean basins, but one of these arms is gonna fail. It's not gonna open up. We call that the allocogen or the failed third arm. This is happening right now in Africa. So we have the Gulf of Aden and we have uh, the Red Sea, and those are the two arms that are opening up to form new oceans. And then we have the failed third arm, and that's the East African Rift Valley. And so that's just a big deep valley that goes for a really long ways that's bound on either side by faults. And so this process happened in North America as well. The failed third arm in that case, we now call the real foot rift. The seismicity that we see in the New Madrid seismic zone occurs in the same place as the real foot rift and is probably occurring on these ancient faults that are associated with that time that was part of the breakup of the continent about 600 million years ago. So this is, these are really old faults and the, the stress and strain is building up really slowly, which is why they don't have earthquakes all that often. But that's why we have earthquakes there. It's pre-existing weaknesses in the crust. And in this case, it's along something called the real foot rift.